Right now at 530, developments in the murder of a beloved Norfolk teacher. We've been following this story since someone shot and killed Caroline Hendricks New Year's Eve. Good evening. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm Stephanie Harris. Today, the second suspect arrested in this case was back in court. Denise Cushman is charged with conspiracy to commit second degree murder. Today, 10 on your side's Chris Horn talked to Cushman's fiance. Chris? Yes, yeah, Stephanie, the fiance says Cushman's family has been in shock ever since last week when she got arrested. Her fiance says when the family heard about Hendrix being shot and killed, this was the day after it happened on New Year's Day, they were actually praying for the teacher and her family. He said it was simply the right thing to do after they had lost a loved one. Well, that was back on New Year's Day, as I mentioned. And then three weeks later, Norfolk police arrested Cushman as the second defendant in the case. The fiance of Tanik Cushman says they have plans to marry as soon as June. He says he knows of no connection between Cushman and Hendrix, who was a popular pre-K teacher at Norfolk's Ocean Air Elementary. She was shot in her car about 8 p.m. New Year's Eve in a driveway on Virginian Drive. She died later that night at the hospital, and police arrested 70-year-old Edward Shaw two days later and charged him with second-degree murder. Police say when Shaw shot Hendrix, a friend came to her aid and shot Shaw. State police say Shaw concocted a story that he had been shot in a road rage incident, and that did not check out. And then just last week, Cushman was charged with conspiracy in the case. Her fiancé also told me he knows of no connection between Cushman and Shaw, the two defendants. Shaw is from Utah and said in court he was doing engineering consulting work for a firm in Henderson, North Carolina. Shaw said in court he has no prior criminal record. Cushman's background involves a misdemeanor charge of carrying a concealed 22 pistol in Virginia Beach in December, but the judge deferred judgment until next January if Cushman remains on good behavior. So, as you can see, this case has many loose ends, especially when it comes to how the two defendants are connected and why anyone would kill an admired and accomplished school teacher such as Hendrix. We hope to learn more Friday and then Monday when Shaw and Cushman are set for bond hearings. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.